certainly we don't want to have to spend our entire time <laughs> with dogs because the primary concern is humans. The Westville Police Department takes in about 10 lost animals every single month. They now have some new technology to help reunite pet owners with their pets. Good evening, I'm McLeod Hageman. Westville Police say officers are pretty excited about their new microtrip scanner. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara spoke with the captain, so Scarlett, walk us through how they got it and how it works. Whenever someone drops off a lost pet, they post a photo to Facebook hoping to find the owner. Now, last month, a group of Facebook owners pitched in and donated this scanner to help out. Finding out that your dog escaped is any pet owner's worst nightmare. Luckily, if they're microchipped, there's a good chance they'll be found. Instead of trying to, like, say a description over the phone of, like, what's your dog look like, um, it's a, you know, sure fire way to be like, nope, this is your pet. Microchips have become more popular over the years. They're tiny implants that can hold information about an animal's owner. A vet technician says people never regret microchipping their dogs, but they always regret not microchipping them if they run away. Well, it's a one-time thing, so I try to hammer it that you're, you're just paying it this one time, um, and then your gonna, pet's going to have that for the rest of its life. Usually, if you come across a lost animal, you'd have to take it to the vet to scan the microchip. But when many people find stray dogs and cats, they drop them off with police. We have a kennel. We feed them, take them out for a walk. Sometimes people see us out here walking the dog. Like many police departments, Westville is understaffed. They're busy, and they deal with a lot of lost dogs. Especially with us, there's only one on duty at a time, so it can be <laughs> a little challenging splitting your time. So they were thrilled when someone from Facebook donated a microchip scanner. Out of the blue, we really didn't know what was going on, but it was definitely a welcome welcome uh, tool on our part. It used to take hours, sometimes days, to find a dog's owner. Now, with their new chip scanner, it takes a fraction of that time. We've had a few that haven't had microchips, but the ones that have, I mean, it's a matter of, you know, maybe 15 minutes we can identify where they belong and either get a hold of the owner or take them to their house if they're here in town. He says there's only a couple of full-time officers on staff now, so the scanner has saved them a lot of time, and they're very grateful to those who pitched in. Mac? All right, Scarlett, thanks so much.